Wage theft is when an employer fails to pay workers overtime, withholds their tips, or even entire paychecks. Advocacy groups claim it costs employees billions of dollars each year. A News 4i team reporter Jay Avila found that the state agency that's supposed to protect workers from wage theft rarely sides with the employee, and when it does, it has little power to collect the money that's owed. Hi, thank you for calling Aspen Creek. This is Cassie. How may I help you? 17 year old Cassandra Madrigal is new to the workforce. For how many? Her job at a local restaurant allows her to save for college. To pay for my car insurance and my bills and my expenses. But she already had a bad work experience at her previous job, a restaurant that abruptly closed in February without giving Cassandra and her co workers their paychecks. I had a scramble for a job. Job. I had to um, find ways to make side money until I did get a job. Yeah, I have three kids. Um, it really took a toll on me. Um, I, I had to, you know, do some gig jobs, um, you know, DoorDash and stuff like that. Thank God they have that these days. When Cassandra and her co-workers got no response from their former employer, they filed wage claim complaints with the Texas Workforce Commission. Data we requested from TWC shows that it received 8,526 complaints for unpaid wages last year for a total dollar amount of more than 46 million. But after investigating, TWC only ordered employers to pay out $5 million to workers. That's less than 12%. TWC said no one at the agency was available to talk to us. We wanted to ask why their investigations aren't resulting in more back pay for workers. So we sat down with State Senator Jose Menendez. He's on the Business and Commerce Committee that has oversight of the TWC. Do you think the state is doing enough to get people what they're owed? No, no one, not a business, not a politician, not anyone, it should be allowed to have theft against a person. And, and it is theft of their wages if someone does a job and they're not being paid. Menendez said he'd take up the issue with others on the committee. Another disturbing statistic we uncovered? In 2021, the TWC took just 39 days to investigate a wage theft allegation. In 2022, that increased to 56 days. And last year, it took 89 days to resolve a case. The TWC says when it determines an employer has committed wage theft, it sends the business a demand letter to pay what is owed. If that doesn't work, it can file a lien. Its online database shows more than 600 San Antonio businesses have liens showing they owe more than $2,000 or more to employees. I've messaged them off Facebook, messages, I've called them, I've emailed them. It's a good thing Cassandra is persistent. After two months of pestering the owner, he sent Cassandra and one of her co-workers their money. They won't have to wait on the state's overwhelmed system to deliver their payday. For the News 4 I team, I'm Jay Avila. Do you have a story that you'd like the I-Team to look into? If so, you can call the News 4 I-Team tip line at 210-476-1070. You can also send an email to iteam at news4sa.com.